Hello guys, it is Eric here again. Alright, let's hope this all works. Fifth time trying to record this video because every single time something weird differently goes wrong and I don't know why. Okay. It's going to be how to export your client. First, I'm going to try to make this as super clear as possible. If you use the session changer, make sure to remove your credentials from your client. You don't want people, when they start your client, logging in. That would be bad, obviously. <laughs> so we're going to say export jar file, select client, and click a little arrow. Unclick jars and lib. We don't need them. Uh, I'm also going to unclick these because I don't also need those. So finish. We should see. Here's my jar. Uh, we are not done yet though, sadly. I'm going to say open archive. And we're going to first delete the start.class file. We need that. Next up, we are going to go into um, our uh, MCP folder. Going to go to lib, and we're going to open everything in our lib one at a time. And we're going to copy there. Yeah, we'll just, just copy everything. Copy it all into this folder. What am I doing? Next, oops, that was the wrong window. Open slick. Put it over here. Put that over here. Drag everything. Yes. Okay. Uh, we are going to delete the version full file. We're going to delete the meta inf folder. Now, there's still a couple more things we have to do really quick. So next thing we have to do is, weirdly enough, Minecraft is not finding Netty, which is like the packet handler backend stuff uh, for when I export the client. I don't know why. It's weird. It's just like 1.8.8, except I don't know why I can't find it. So my fix is to just shade it indirectly. So we're going to go to jars, libraries, IO, Netty, Netty, in there, open this, drag the IO folder in here, wait for everything to compile, and sure not compile, click on there. Now make sure you don't have a meta inf folder in your client. Delete it. You don't it, it cause a problem. Just just delete it. Trust me on that. Just delete it. Alright. Alright. Now what we're gonna do is I'm going to put this file up for download. Um, it is essentially um oh wait. Okay, hold up. Ugh fudge. Okay, well I forgot one other thing I have to do. Okay, so Go to your Minecraft folder, go to 7-zip, open archive, open 1.8.8, open up normal my, your, your jar, and drag the assets folder in. I forgot to do that, my bad. So just wait for all those to copy over. Okay. Now I'm where I'm supposed to be. I did not write a script for this video, as you can probably tell. And I still got a whole lot of homework I gotta do, but... Whatever, I need to get a video done for you guys. So I, I, I can't just be doing homework all day. It's so painful. Okay, quick... Whew, I need to slow down. Um, so, this example client JSON is basically just a copy of the 1.8.8. Um, except... I've just removed all the download links and hashes from it. Um, yeah. Other quick note. Your folder name, these two files, and this ID need to all be the same name and same capitalization. So for me, that's example client. Everything is named like that. Next, I'm going to copy the folder. We're going to go to .minecraft versions. 
paste it in there. Let's launch Minecraft. I'm going to say installations, new, let's call it example client. Now we're going to scroll until we see it. Right there, example client. And you know, I'm going to give it, let's give it an emerald block. Why not? And we're going to click play and cross our fingers that for the fifth time in a row that, let's see, does this work, please? I don't want to record another video. <laughs> hey, it actually like launched this time instead of crashed. That's a good start. Let's go to single player. Make sure everything seems to be working at least. I mean, you know. I would do a more thorough test than what I am doing. Just eh. it all looks like it's working. Let's try to go to multiplayer. Uh, let's just go to Hive MC. Why not? Join server. And cool. I'm in game. I am logged as my user. Oh god, there's so much noise. Okay. Um, that's gonna do it for this tutorial, guys. Uh, I'm sorry it's kind of rushed. I just I have a lot of homework I gotta do, and I'm just kind of annoyed that this video took five takes to, to go, and I should have written a script. <laughs> Hope you guys are all doing well in this quarantine. Stay safe. Uh, and I'll see you guys in another video. 